Boys, I have found the holy land of mushrooms. Look at this. They're as big as your damn fist. I got like six or seven of these giant ones. And I just kept finding them like big clumps. Clusters of three or four of them. And I'm like, I had to quit looking because my I didn't have any bags with me. I was just stuffing them in my pockets of my shorts. I was like, they're going to get all crumbly, so i got to go back and look for some more of some actual bags now and see what else I can find. And I'll take a video of that. Holy crap. I've been waiting my whole life for this moment. Just texted my mom, or called my mom, had to tell my mom about it. It's like, oh shit. I went and, I, I went to go for some this morning at my boss's spot and I couldn't find any. But like, now I've got my own spot, it's even better. Alright boys, I'm excited to be back in the land of milk and honey of my giant mushroom adventures. And I'll tell you why I'm even more excited is because let's look in these woods. You see these woods? See them? The spot I found was like over around those cedar trees, way over there. And like I talked about in my other video, mycelium, it spreads kind of like a, a spider web. So if there's mushrooms way over here where I'm at, like that one and that one, and one, two, that little bitty one right there. That tells you that it's a pretty fucking ginormous patch of mycelium. If it's the same one that goes all the way over there. So I'm going to pick these three. <laughs> I'm looking around these fallen cedars. Like cedars and poplars is the ticket. That's where you find them. So I was telling my mom how crazy this was. Finding clusters of mushrooms. So they can't get out as much as they used to, so they're going to be able to watch this video. My parents will be able to live vicariously through me. Wouldn't you like to find mushrooms in a bunch of fallen cedars like that? This isn't even the spot yet. I'm not even in the spot. I'm on the perimeters of somebody's yard, <laughs> basically. Okay, I found four instead of three, and if you look right, there is another one. So that's five. I've not even gotten to the spot yet. I'm still looking in these fallen cedars. I don't know how I'm going to get to that one. It's going to be tricky. Wait. Wait, 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 wait. What? Okay, wait, wait. There's one. Two. One over there is filling over four. These aren't very big, but this is the outskirts still. Where's that first one I even found? I moved. There, it's right there. Holy crap. I don't know if you can see this. There's another one right there. This is the excitement of this, man. You find one and you find like 50 just out of nowhere. So that's five more. That's nine, I think we're up to. Just gotta grab these. Let's see here. There, like this. These are going to be hard for animals to get to. Trust them. Survive longer. Yeah. That really long stems out here. Okay. So that's three in her back. And then we got about three more. Didn't I say? Wait. I don't step on it. I almost did. Got one there. Falling off. <laughs> Ow. He picked himself. Oh. There was another one. I have to go back and look for it. Oh, I just turned around and ran into this one. If it had been a snake, it would have bit me. This is what you wait for. Stuff like this. I've always wanted to find just a god blessed mess of mushrooms. Ah, I'm gonna have to watch some mushroom picking videos tonight on YouTube. Maybe I'll be the new YouTube channel for that. 
scavenging and foraging channel. I know there's one more I missed. It's like right over here. That might be the one that got away. Maybe that's why they call them drowning fish, because you don't catch them all. You'll see them, and you'll lose them. Stuff like this is why they're so good camouflage, like half of a walnut. Looks like a outside of a mushroom. Plus there's like uh, those little spiky maple balls. They kind of look like them too. Find them near those. I actually stepped over this log to get to here. And there's another one right in there in the shade. And there's another one on this side of it. What the heck? I should just keep the camera on because I just keep finding them. And three feet away, here's another one. And three feet away from this one, another one, and there's going to be more, looking, looking, looking. As soon as I turn the camera off, I see them, so I'm going to turn the camera off. Find a couple more. This is number three. I mean, this is, this is already enough for a meal, I think. I haven't even gotten to my honey hole yet. I already got a little mess of them. I'm gonna fill this bag up before I get to my spot where I'm gonna need a bag. I might have to go dump these three bags I brought and get more bags. Yep, there's another one. Just walk and pick. Easy peasy. There's another one right over there. And another one next to it. Ow! I'm getting stabbed in the head. My cedar limbs. I'm really starting to worry about leaving my car parked where I parked it because I hear people talking. When people catch wind that there's something worth looking for right here. They might start looking for it. I want to go like dump a bunch of bags next to where I parked and then come drive by, pick them up. And that way I don't leave my car sitting there. Because the first time I had them all stuck in my pockets. And I met this woman who was walking her dog. And then my dog went up to her dog. And she was like, oh, dog's got to keep apart because of coronavirus too, you know. Kind of funny. Mom said a tiger got it though. So maybe it's transferring between animals now or something. But then when I came back in my car... She was walking around again without her dog, and she saw me and waved, so she's probably wondering what the hell I'm doing. I'm starting to wonder that as well. I can't believe this is happening to me. I feel like I've won the lottery. These are very expensive. If you buy them, like, dried online by the pound, I think it's like 50 bucks a pound or something crazy. It used to be. It might even be higher now. Seems like people find less and less. So I ran into some people at a national park I was looking for them for. And they were looking for some and they said they had uh, crap luck. Like they usually find them and they weren't finding any. So if that's true everywhere, the price will go up. Or you can just eat like a king. What I intend to do. Okay, I'm not finding as many over here. So we may have hit a boundary where the mycelium stretches out to. Then again, I may run into another patch and I'll be like, oh, there's no boundary. It's all over the place. Alright, we're back on the shroom. Another big one. So that woman I told you about, she had a little bag of something when I saw her. But she was coming from the opposite direction. I wonder if she was finding them like somewhere else. Maybe it was just a bag or something else. I don't know. Getting, getting paranoid. Suspicious. I can really smell the shrooms in this bag now. Oh, that was a leaf that looked like one. People ask me about worrying about poisonous mushrooms. And there's really no other mushroom that looks like these. So they have like a honeycomb, kind of a rippled edge. 
There's these ones they call false morels. Kind of looks like a wizard's cap. It's kind of curled up and all rotten looking. It doesn't look anything like these, though. I don't know why people get confused about this. People are just dumb, I guess. Yeah, if you go this way, you don't find them. I'm finding. I need to go back even further this way. to really plot out the edge. See, I wish I had me some of those little pink ribbons. I'm like a stick in the tree limbs. Really show me where the boundaries are. It's right over there. That's the honey hole right there. See all the, that little ring of cedar trees? I'm just going to go over there. I'm going to skip this area right here for now. But I'll come back to it. I'll do a proper thorough search. I just want you to see what's possible. What you can find. Because this must be where the main cluster started out. And it got ginormous over time because nobody was here picking them. Plus, it's like they've probably been out since like March 17th is when I found my first batch. It's like the first week of April. They must have just kept growing. No animals are back here. Picking at them. So they got freaking huge. Kind of amazing. The first one I found is not very big. And I was standing in the middle of all these giant ones. Like I saw a cluster and I was like, that can't be a mushroom over there. That looks like a beehive or something. That can't be. It's too big to be a mushroom. But it was. It was two or three giant ones clustered together. There's a show on the Weather Channel where people mine for opals, not opals, topazes, and they found this stuff called amazonite, amazonite. This one guy found like a quarter million dollar honey hole of them, and it was like just big, uh, big jewels, giant jewels. He had to like put them all together, make them more more if he could fit them together somehow. Yeah, so right around in here. Where I found those big ones. Maybe it was more over in this way. But like if I keep pushing, see right over there? That looks like the same kind of stuff right over there. I haven't even been over there yet. Or back in there. I don't even know. That looks like a bunch of poplars right over there. That's gonna be probably full of them. I'm getting hyped. Just gonna look around. This little flat area. It's real nice and clean back in here. Right on the edges of the woods is where it gets the nastiest. The fence rows. Get back into the woods. It's pretty nice and clean. 